So I was asked to guest judge the Real End Games Ald Velothi Harbor House housing competition this month. We have several contestants on both NA and EU. We're going to start on EU. This is Brahm Sturmbringer's entry. Nestled deep within the heart of Morrowind, a mysterious overgrown house lies hidden. Its presence known only to those attuned to the whispers of nature. This mythical dwelling was discovered by the venerable druid Keldron and brought back to life. Well, hey, guy. I can barely see him. It's his little glowy eyes. The lighting out here is definitely purposeful. It's a little bit of glowy here and there. Let's go inside. The lighting in here is really good too. It's still dark. Let's explore this room first. We have a terrarium. Hey, little guy. Love the moving elements in the terrarium. The desk here. You know, sometimes I think the Tales of Tribute tapestries don't quite fit in a lot of builds, but this one works. This one works here. Definitely get that witchy feeling. Oh, look at this little mushroom in a cup. Look at this little mushroom in a cup. That's really cute. There's some extra clutter added to the bookcase. This looks like a comfy couch. We're going to jump on the furniture to see it all. Cobbled together with some orc beds. Some added pillows. I like the Merkmire braziers kind of hidden in the, the rocks. And I believe these flowers are actually orange. Hang on. The daylily clusters, aren't they normally orange? But the lighting makes them look... Makes them look blue. That's really cool. Oh, they are blue? Okay. Or are those the new ones from uh, Galen? Yeah, I like the big mushroom there. Right next to this little mushroom. Just adds a little something. And then these little mushrooms growing down here. Really well done. Okay, let's, before we go upstairs, let's visit this room. Of course, we have more blue flowers here with the wisteria. I love these far grave flags for curtains.
And we have the the wisteria trellis on the other side, and it's coming through on this side. But what I like is it works, right? This does not look accidental. This looks absolutely purposeful. It works right here. Which again is is difficult to pull off. The use of the candles and the crystal gives off just enough light here. And of course we have a cooked cooking ham slice. We're slicing more ham. Good stuff. Oh, and the Reachman chandelier. That works in this house. There's an orange version of the Daylily Cluster that's crown only. I think it's also in like Autumn's Gate too, right? No, those aren't Daylilies. Those are, those are something else. Never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the greenhouse wall used here. Or that might be a roof of the greenhouse, but we have a greenhouse portion here with the moonlit um, moonlit vines from Dragonhold. I love that. It almost looks like stars. I love the mushroom used as a canopy on this bed. That is so neat. Very clever. Very, very clever. And we have a cobbled bed. The Telvani bed here, I'm guessing, looked too clean for this build. So they added... They added the wood elf bedding. We have if we can target. Here we go. Telvani throne organic. Oh, we've got thrones here too. It's always fun to look at a cobble and see exactly how they did it. Okay. Very cool. A bathtub with more mushrooms. Maybe have some bubble bath here. Just enough going on here. Let's go outside and see what's. If there's anything happening here. Well, there is. There is. Oh no. Oh, oh no. We found the house's secret. Poor guy. This is really pretty. Just enough out here to be decorated, and then of course our our little secret. That's not normal. I don't. I don't think that's normal. I don't have that at my house. Maybe I'm the weird one. I don't know. I really, really love this. We have some really good elements here. And frankly, bringing all of this nature inside and having it look like it belongs is harder than it looks. It is definitely something that I struggle with. Let me install this. Oh. Oh, hello. 
You're a little creepy. I'll put the hourglass back here. I like that you can get back there. I think that's everything here. Like just enough mushrooms in here. That's the mushrooms on the tree that's just growing. Actually, that's another mushroom that's just growing up through here. The lighting is phenomenal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is... Hang on. I am missing something. I almost missed this. More secrets. This is really well done too. Really like the candles used here. Works really, really well next to that. Oh, there's more. And the, the upside down brazier there, kind of giving him a crown. You found their hidden recipe book? I don't think I want to know what they're cooking. Glad we did another once over. I would have completely missed out. Okay, now I think that's everything. After stream, I realized we missed a hidden component of this build. It's hidden beneath the vines and the carpet. So I'm revisiting this as I'm editing my YouTube video. We have this beautiful fountain water feature overgrowth and mushrooms dragonfly and a torch bug and i just wanted to make sure that was included all right now we can move on to the next house this is inked raven's entry and it just says another retreat Ooh, look at this. Love the little fountain. Looks like they've blocked off the actual house. Oh, look at this fountain. That's interesting. It's in the like the Nautilus uh, fossil sideways. Very cool. It looks like the main door is blocked off and we need to go this way, which is what I'm really curious about anyway. All kinds of blue glow. Well, so this was... this structure was completely cobbled we have the clockwork calibration guides for the roof and the floor then we have the dwarven tonal arc which is one of my favorite furnishings in the game it's got so many applications a scavenged plate and then these are all scavenged supports and these are home goods vendor items from clockwork city the plates and the, the supports i think these are only like 100 gold each
So they cobbled this whole building. They made this really neat house. They used a spool like a thumbtack here with the bounty sheets. Bedroom. Oh, and we used display cases to make the windows. I'm quite liking this. Very. Oh my gosh, it's a it's a cat tree. cat tree. We have our Argonian reed rolled up mats, some uh, pillows, I think those are Khajiit pillows, basket lids, garlic as a toy. That plant is dangerously close to cats that want to bat at things, but we'll we'll let it go. have a cobbled couch. I have more scavenge scavenger plates. They cobbled their own fireplace. Look at that. That's the oh, what's it called? The forge looking. Probably can't target it. Let's see. We've got a display case. I think I can tab over to it, maybe. Leo and fire pit, thank you. Leo and fire pit. Thrown into a display case to make a fireplace. There's even a knob here so you can get in. Great detail. And then firewood stored but Beneath it, another great detail. You could have easily left off both of those details and it would have been impressive anyway. But the addition of the little details is what really makes a house, right? This looks like a door. It is a door. Just a friendly reminder, whenever you are touring somebody's house, if you open a door, make sure you close it before you leave. If you adjust anything, make sure you fix it before you leave. Hazards work really hard to get the ambiance just right. We have some spilled milk. The cats are definitely having some fun. Batting things off counters as usual. A cobbled stove. Oh, just storage up above. The whole room is a hood. <laughs> Love that. Oh, and then they used these supports to separate off. Little eating nook. That's so nice. Do I know what they use for the spilled milk? Yes, it is a Merkmeyer brazier turned upside down. Yeah, Merkmeyer brazier shell. It's like a shell candle and it has like melted wax under it. And if you flip it upside down, it looks like milk. Oh, look, they're little canisters and they put sand dollars inside like a little cookie jar a little cookie jar i love that how the heck and i think these are those a while ago we at the lux vendor we got some really inexpensive 
um, tiny display cases, the little specimen jars. And it's hard to know what to even put inside because it's so little. But turning it upside down so that the base becomes the lid, because it's got a domed lid, and then putting the sand uh, sand dollars inside or the sand sand cakes inside. Again, little details. Could have totally left this off. It wouldn't have hurt the build. But these little, little details really, really bring this one home. And it makes you want to look at every detail closer. We have what looks like maybe a, a juicer, possibly, set up over here. Or a coffee maker. That could be a coffee maker. Okay. And we're closing the door behind us. And I'm going to give this one another little once over in case there's any other little details we missed. I always feel bad when I do these tours and then I miss something because people worked so hard on this and it's crushing when somebody misses something that you're so proud of. Unfortunately, I will miss things. I apologize in advance. I don't think there's any hidey holes here. Go double check though. Hey, Lil and Chill. I know you're judging today too, right? Oh, you missed the kitchen? So good. So good. All right, let me score this one and then we'll go to the next. This is Don Kinko's entry. Morag Tong's hideout located in the previously abandoned Dwemer Keep on the northern coast of West Gash. Already seeing some interesting things. Interesting so far that, that most of our entries, or all of our entries so far, have chosen nighttime. We have a variety of mushrooms here. We even have ones in the tree. Archery practice. What did they use? They used some basket lids and the fishing poles or this the spears as their arrows. That's clever. Precursor crafting stations. See what Mary's up to. Pathing is one of the things that we're judging. We didn't go over it, but we're we have three things that I'm scoring on. Um, they get up to 10 points for technique, up to 10 points for atmosphere, and up to five points for wow factor. And I'll tell you, it is really, really difficult to not just score these all 10. 10 10 5. Um, for technique we're looking at things like cobbling and clipping and and the mechanics of how they put things together. For atmosphere we're looking at things like lighting, music, pathing of pets, companions, mounts. So we do kind of have to keep an eye on what they're doing. Are they running? Are they walking? Where are they stopping? 
sometimes housers will use pets, mounts, or companions to show us the secret areas. So it's worth paying attention. Let's check, up, check out the wall. I saw something skittering across the wall, so... Aha, uh -huh, that's what I saw. And so when we judge houses like this, we have to we end up having to be really, really picky. Most of the time they're all freaking amazing. So to score them differently, we have to get nitpicky. We almost have to look for the flaws. I don't know what the story is here. We know a little bit, right? An abandoned Dwemer Keep is now a Morag Tong hideout. So, Dark Elves and Dwemers. Okay. This is the lookout part. The nod to the Dwemer. I think that's everything outside. The outside's pretty much reskinned with these with these walls. We have another Dwemer spider here. A dwarven spider. We have a game and some money. Maybe there's a wager on this one. This is a Morag Tong hideout. Makes sense that there would be multiple people, multiple beds. Very small kitchen, dining area. Good stuff though. I like... I like the Khajiit fire pit in the Leowin hearth. It does give it more of a kitchen feel than just a fire. That's a nice touch. They could have just put a fire in and maybe hung a, a kettle or, or pot over the fire, but I like that touch. We have some artifacts here, maybe. This interior is pretty much completely reskinned. Vivek and Mafala. We like to read books to see. Sometimes book titles can add to the story in a house. So do we have four people living here and these are their wanted posters? Possibly. Or that's who they're after. Yeah, there's a lot of Markarth furnishings here. Yeah, this, everything's reskinned here, pretty much. Maybe that's the conspiracy room? Oh, it could be. Bookshelf. Oh. Leader's room, maybe? Circus of Cheerful Slaughter and the House of Troubles. See if there's anything out here. Fantastic nighttime reading, yes. 
Absolutely. Oh, I was about to say there's nothing here, but now there's stairs. We have another tower. Look at that view. It's a little foggy at the moment. Beautiful. I think I would have liked to see a little something up here. I don't know what, though. All right. Definitely have more to see inside, though. Oh, we need to close this door. Remember, close the doors that you open. I'm, of course, reminding myself as much as anyone. There's a lighthouse furnishing like the actual fire mirror. There is, although I don't believe that was supposed to be a lighthouse. I think it was supposed to be a lookout tower. So maybe a chair and a table, like drink, you know, coffee to keep somebody awake while they keep watch, something. I don't know. Whenever you have like a jumping puzzle or you have to climb flights of stairs, it's nice to have a little, little something as a reward, just a little scene. A basement. Brazier is so so bright you can see it through the the center pole here. No, nope, got somebody else living down here. Got a key, some urns, an altar. Okay. A little sweet roll at the top of the stairs. Something, right? Like just, just a little reward for our efforts. Doesn't have to be much. All right. This is a really well done cobble though. Really well done cobble. It's, it's almost difficult to realize it is a cobble, which is the best kind of cobble, right? So that is very, very well done. All right, let me score this one and we'll move on. This is Alithnia's Temple of Tranquil Serenity. So we have a daytime entry, and I'm loving how different it is. We have a cobble over here. There's a cobble building there I'm excited about. Some bamboo and some flowers. This is really pretty. Oh, look at all the waterfalls. Well, I love it already. Yeah, it's... I want to live here. Kind of just want to live here. Wow. Okay, we talk about wow factor, but wow. Just taking it in for a minute. Yeah. Holy is right. 
And it's pretty much wherever you look. Okay, let's, let's take a closer peek. All these little details. This is one of those where I almost don't want to know where some of the, what, or how some of these things are done because it might ruin the magic for it. Stuck on something. The joy of first person. Do I have a list published of the homes that we're touring today? I do not. But I will definitely get one up. That is gorgeous. Those lines, I believe, are the Deadlands wall spikes, right? Yeah, Deadlands wall spikes. Buried deep in the wall, so it's just the lines. Just the lines. All these little details, that tapestry with the, the tree on it, the room divider that sunk down low, nice detail. I'll get to the middle here last. The wall relief. Look at this. Okay, we need to know what magic is happening here. We have elsewhere bookcases. Leowen Wall, wainscoted. Wow, okay, so they sunk a book sh bookcase into the wall to make it look... It's got, like, this Asian feel to it. Barrel would be fine. Yeah. So good. More, like everything here is cobbled, just about. Just about everything here is cobbled. If we look, we have dark elf bookcases and a dark elf chest of drawers in an elsewhere bed to create a custom cabinet. And then we have all the goodies thrown in. So, so good. And it just, again, little, with the little details, Telvani sofa on both sides here, just to create this little edge here. And then using this trellis sideways. Carol, thank you so much for posting that. And thank you for pinning it. Okay. We have the tree and more petals. Look at this little cobble here. The stacked tables to create an interesting bookcase. Looks like we have another bed. And then we have a painting sunk into the edge of the bed. So the painting is acting as a more ornate frame. Again, little details. Little details. We have this couch. And then we have this in the background here. 
check this out. We have the Rose Petal Cascade. We're going to tab through. We have Bamboo Shoots. We have Elsewhere Pillow. Elsewhere Gate Masterwork. They, they created this face, mostly. Any, see if it'll let me go. We have Wedding Blossoms Peach. Yeah. Might not show us everything. Cacti Cactus Lemon Bulbs up there. That's not going to show us everything, but this is all cobbled. There is a face behind it. That's where the nose and the beard come from. But it has been improved upon. You love the hosta in that canister? This. Which one? Let's see. Bosch Rock? That is a Rothgar book. I am loving all the details here. This does not feel like Aldvalathi at all. At all. Not one bit. Love the addition of the water. I mean, they, they blocked off the home itself. This is all in the yard. Like, all of this is cobbled. Every last, every last bit of it is cobbled. Beautiful. All right, let me score this. Next. This is Nigel's home. And it's a prospector's cottage. Oh, look at this contraption over here. What do we have? We have a winch and a bucket. Okay. Like this one, the house itself was cut off as well. Maybe. I think we climb. I think it's up here. This is interesting. This is neat. Okay. Heck yeah. Okay. have the laundry. There's the winch that we saw from down below. Ooh, we've got pipe. Okay. Is that just a downspout or is there something more to that? That's interesting. Okay, should we go inside or up first? I don't know. Oh. Oh, okay. We have a kitchen. You even have mushrooms up there. That's really neat. 
So they took the little herb rack ladder and they hung extra garlic and beets from it, added some pumpkins and the Merkmeyer berries to the top, as well as some mushrooms. Look how they use this house. Here's a trap door. I love that. Okay, let's go check everything else out first. There's a lot to see here. It doesn't look like much at first, but there's a ton to see here. And I'm excited about that. We have this cool cobbled fireplace. Great use of clutter. There's the Discord link for anyone looking for housing contests. It's also posted in my Discord. And for those watching on YouTube, it will be posted down below as well. Oh, can I not go down here? There we go. There we go. I figured it out. Okay. So this is just the smoke room. Oh no, it's ice. It's the freezer. It's a meat freezer. Okay, that's really cool. Great way to utilize the actual house. Gosh. That's a tight squeeze. Okay. But now we can continue up to this cobble. This is not part of the original structure at all. This is completely fabricated by Nigel. Remember, this is a prospector's cottage. What books we have. Can't tell what books they are. Okay. Some maps and a scroll. There's actually just a map sunk in. But I love the use of those as giant scrolls. A map. Messy bed. Some tools and a balcony. Oh, hello. What book are we reading? Wama Mining for Fun and Profit. So the Prospector's Cottage. It's a book about mining. I love that. I don't know that Kwama mining is quite the same, but it works. Of course, the beautiful view. That's really lovely. Just the way that's set up. I mean, because the desk is a cobble too, right? It looks like a desk and a bookshelf and a dresser all combined together. Um, just in case. Nope. Sometimes ta where tapestries are, there's hidden doorways. Sometimes. Not this time. But I like the use of the top of this trophy. It looks like gold. I like it. Really cool. Look down below again, make sure we didn't miss anything. We have a couple posts to make sure that we don't fall over the edge. Great use of flowers so that this downstairs isn't boring. Right? We see the big tree. We've got the hint there's something up above. But it's not so much that it uses up all their item slots, right? All right, let me score this one. This is C Code Not Games Entry. This gentle home is nestled inside an ancient wood. It is not a treehouse, but rather this elven cottage fits snugly into a hollowed tree trunk and descends deep beneath the roots. It climbs up into the lofty branches and onto a private balcony cut from the mighty trunk. 
that sounds intriguing. Let's check out the yard. Got this. I closed off with the ledges or the hedges, excuse me. A well over here. Not a ton to see here. Certainly we saved the good stuff for inside, right? Yeah, nothing. I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh, we've got a stable with a horse, though. Trough and a broom. And this is a common tactic in ESO housing where you make one part of the house just interesting enough to not feel barren but you save the good stuff for for the real build right so we have a nod to the outside here but really what we're expecting to see is inside any out of there either um may not enter. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. A little bit of collision making it difficult to get in. I'll fix, though. Okay. Definitely much greener than some of the other ones we've seen. I love that they use the trees with the moss on it to add to that look. We have completely reskinned the floors. We have a kitchen, eating area. Carrying horse winning. Okay. What else we've got? It looks to be a library with a seating area. Very cozy. Now we've got the floating books. We have a much larger table. This is for eating, for meetings, maybe both. Maybe both. Is this a good woodsy green or the sickly apocryphal green? I don't know who consulted with you know, this year's color palette. I think this is a woodsy green, I would say. I would say. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, we've got a hammock up here. Oh, what book? I see a book. We gotta check out what book it is. The Witches of Hag Fen. Okay, good, good selection. More greenery. I like the greenery with the, the painting too. And the the fungal Telvani bed is is a good addition here as well. Check out outside. Maybe. This one gonna be tricky too. 
It's going to be tricky too. Can we get outside? We might not be able to. Okay, I don't know that we'll be able to get outside. Apologies to C Code Not Games if there's something out there that we're missing. Lots of seating areas here. Oh, got a tight squeeze. Trunk growing right through the stairs. Oh, what's here? Little alchemy layer deep in the trunk or the root. All right, so what details do we have here? Al uh, alchemy station. I can't see what books those are. Is this part of the station? I don't even know. Oh, here's that that dome again. This is the way they used that. Remember in the other build, somebody had flipped it upside down and put sand cakes in it that look like cookies. Oh, I love using the... Find the official name of it. I always call them chocolates, but the Halalu box is compact. A lot of people use them just as chocolates. But in this case, they're used as like a seed starting tray with all the little individual soil boxes. And they put radishes in it. I like that. That's clever. I like that. Perfect. around this little corner. Just more mushrooms. Oh, that was the horse that was whinnying earlier. I get it now. Is there more back here? I don't think so, but just in case. Nope. I see stone back there. There's no way to get... There's no hidey hole back there. All right, let me score this one. This is Lulu Zealander's entry, a traditional Japanese inspired house and garden, complete reskin of Aldvalathi and brand new with only 400 slots used. So we have a complete reskin. Look at the way they made those sh the shutters. Do you see them up here? Those are two room dividers, one on each side of the window. And the window is actually cobbled as well. We have bookshelves. We have the um, oh, the name just left me. Deadlands wall spikes, and it's like a table. I consider it a table or a the uh, Halalu sideboard. See the different pieces. We have the Dres divider chains. We have the Hlalu bookcase, the Hlalu sideboard. Lots of lots of parts just to make a window, but it it has the right effect, right? We have another one over there. 
gonna go check out this. It's like an altar, maybe. The combination of the elsewhere and the uh, Galen and High Isle stuff is really good. Even the altar is cobbled. We have the sigil stand. Brotherhood lighter stands. Oh, there's one on each side. Do you see that? One on each side. Carpet. The Necrom incense burner squat brass. See, oh, there's the hourglass turned on its side. Brilliant. Brilliant. I like it. So even something as simple as this is, is cobbled. Make it look just the way they want it to. And of course, remember that the house itself is cobbled. Got, oh, the, the Loki statue. That's just the base of the Loki statue. We have a wedding pergola. Merkmire walkways. Solitude Shed Lean-To. Nicely done. And again, all of this is cobbled as well. To we reskin the outside of the house. Let's see what they did with the inside. We keep the same feel inside. We have some new Leowin walls. The way they use the reed mats. Or the Argonian mats. Leowin half wall. Very nicely done. Using the basket lids as mats. Proceeding, we have more use of the reed mats, library or study, Arge Magister's Maven's Ascension. That is one, I believe, oh, that one comes out of the, the Eidetic Memory book can be read in the entry of Infinite Archive. I don't remember if that book furnishing can be found in Infinite Archive or the Bastion Nimix. But I will link an article that I wrote on how the new book system works. And it has a spreadsheet with where to find all of the eidetic memory and the furnishings. They made their own, it almost looks like a wardrobe here. Could just be a wall, it looks like a wardrobe. They sunk the bed down into the ground to keep the feel going. Open pit floor plan. Very nice. Inside we have like the Dark Elf and Khajiit combination. It's working well. They did a really good job. Sometimes it's difficult to marry a couple different styles. Oh, we closed off the basement with water. We closed off the basement with water. I like it creates a cool little bathhouse effect. That is super clever. We have the fountain. We have this closed off with water. And made it into a bathhouse. So this is the Firesong Spring Basalt. 
when they just sunk it in. It's a large round body of water if I remember right. Yeah. If you look in the upper right hand corner you can kind of see what it looks like. I believe that's an achievement furnishing, right? I love how it reflects on the wall too. And I like that the shutters outside are mirrored inside too. Another mat and a towel. Really, really nice. Go upstairs. I don't know if you have stairs. They made a false floor, but no, the floor is part of the house. The inside of this house is reskinned, but not a complete cobble. So this stone floor is part of the house that leads into the basement. And these are the stairs that go into the basement. And they just plopped the water burnishing in there to block it off. But this floor is part of the, the Aldvalathi Harbor House. So it's a reskin, not a full cobble. And for those who don't know, when we say cobble, we mean taking multiple items and kind of overlapping them so they look like something that's not the original item. find a, a great example of the windows outside would be a good example. Let's go show that. What were the seats on the floor at that low table? I can show you. Red guard basket closed. Okay. We'll go back out and look at the windows. Is there an example of a cobble? So none of these pieces are a window, right? There are a couple windows in the game. None of them look like this. What they did was they took a bookcase. They took the Deadlands wall spikes to give the horizontal lines. They topped it off with a sidebar and threw in these room dividers to create shingles. But none of this is a window. They took other elements to craft a window, and that's what we refer to as a cobble. When I say reskin, I mean that the outside of this house does not look like the original because they have put walls over it to make it look totally different. The door itself here is part of the original house. But the door frame, this little entryway, the outside walls, certainly the second story up there are not part of the original house. That is a cop. Oh, that is a reskin. All right, let's score this one and we'll move on. Okay, this is Valen Woods entry. Not everyone who wanders is lost. Not everyone who loves the city longs for its haste. You found your way into the heart of the old town, where life moves at its own pace, quietly under the shelter of the crown of a great oak tree, whose autumn-colored leaves slowly fill the edges of the road. Have a cup of tea, buy a freshly baked pastry, and simply enjoy the atmosphere. I do like the autumn touch with all the the vines here. And they have ma made a whole town front. I see no signs of Alt Velothi. So we'll, go, we'll go left to right. Oh, wow, we've got this little seating area. I'm guessing this is a fake door. Yeah, it's a fake door. This looks like maybe a Troll dodged. Oh, we're using mirrors as windows. I love the sign. I love this sign. It's a mirror. Used as a sign. Fantastic. 
We have mirrors used as windows. How many different ways can you use a mirror? We have a little balcony up there that I'm guessing we can't get to. It's just for show. We have some pumpkins adding to the fall appearance. Meant to look like a, a window box. Look at this window. With fabric and thread and backpacks in the uh, in the window. Fantastic. We have a storm drain. Building with more windows. Oh, we've got a tower in the background there. Another balcony. Oh, here's the bakery. We have our breads and sweet rolls and cakes. A flower merchant here. We have this clock tower. And they used a greenhouse to create another building up there with a balcony. I don't think we can get up there, but maybe. Okay, you know jumping puzzles are not my forte. Said that several times, but... A slightly closer look. Okay. Another cobbled door. A cobbled window. But this one. Breton rack barrel. Scavenge grating arrow, which is from Clockwork City. Flower patch. It looks like a painting turned backwards on the other side. See the the hanging hooks? I was trying to confirm that. Yep, painting. Dagon's Mercy. There we go. This is lovely. Absolutely lovely. I like it. Definitely looks like fall, right? All right. I think we've seen everything to see. So how about I score this one and then we'll move on. Thanks, everybody. We'll share part two in the next video.